Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. And thank you so much to all those who like, comment, subscribe, and help me grow. I really appreciate that. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I wanted to say right off the bat, this uh, uh, jealousy, this is a spirit of envy. You got somebody who's envious of you and they always will be. It's like this person is fantasizing about coming around you to cause you some sort of discomfort. They're fantasizing about having conversations with you that they're never going to get to have. I'm saying for a lot of you guys, it might have taken you time to realize this person was envious of you because I'm not going to lie. Maybe some of you guys feel like this person is, they could be attractive, they could be somewhat successful, they could be like, you know, this is not someone you, you would think was envious of you. This person could also be related to you. This could be your sister. This could be your mom. This could even be a mother-in-law, even though I kind of use that as an archon, if that's a, the proper word to say archon <laughs> for that, for all uh, feminine energies that are overly invasive and and uh, passive aggressive and just <laughs> and hyper fixated. I'm seeing this person is hyper fixated on you. This person never really knew who they were, though. For some of you guys, this person switched up a lot. Like, you know, I'm not even this person pretended to be a, a part of a lot of different communities. You know, it's like one one error. They could have been pretending like they were. It's nothing wrong with exploring, but this person, you know, they like, they use these certain things for validation when it comes down to it. At some point, some of these people could have been, um, not say nonconformist, maybe they called themselves, uh, uh, what is that word? gender neutral or non-binary at another point this person could have switched and been like you know they're actually not that way or some of these people might have claimed to have mental illnesses that they don't they could be like oh you know i'm autistic and i'm not you know like this person does a lot for attention i'm not at all downing any of these people who are really identifying in that especially autistic or any sort of mental illness and that's why i believe it is kind of important to get a diagnosis but there are some people who fake these things and they do it for the wrong reasons they do it because they want to feel special like you know and this person is envious of you because you never had to do anything particular to feel special you are special even in regular clothes and dressing normal you're special because of your authenticity a lot of you guys don't pick out clothing with other people in mind you don't do your hair with other people in mind you don't buy shoes because it's the most in shoes some of you guys do and even if you do you style it a certain way there's nothing wrong with buying stuff that's in i buy things that are in too <laughs> i'm like that looks cool why not you know and that's another thing too you could do that and admit that you know i got this because everybody else got it like you know, <laughs> you know i felt the same way when i got an eye watch i was like oh i'm gonna get money and buy an eye watch this person wants to, you, you have some sort of shine going and, and some sort of success that this person feels like they don't have and they could never have. Some of you guys just thought this person was a, just to be a bitch, quite frankly, but no. A lot of them being a B word towards you had to do with being envious of you. Like, you know, this person could have randomly snapped on you. This person wants to try, they're fantasizing about coming in and like putting you down. I'm seeing they're never going to get a chance to do that. I'm also seeing some of you guys are at your wits end with this person. 
And like, if they test you again, if you chose to keep this person in your life, you might end up snapping on this person. <laughs> For other people, it's like, okay, what am I trying to say? Yeah, for other people who already cut this person off, this person is mega uh, mega furious that they can't get towards you. Like this person is, like I said, they're fantasizing about having conversations that they're never going to get to have. But for others of you, they might be planning to hmm, try to pretend like they're, if you own a business or something, they might pose as a customer just to leave a bad review. This person has gotten that petty. This person is not above paying just to try to make you feel some type of way about yourself. This person, it, they burn with envy when they see you. It's like even this person is starting to realize that they have a problem. This person wants to come in and be like, oh, well, this person thinks that they're going to say something real passive aggressive. Well, um, I just don't agree with you doing this. And actually, you're not doing that hard of a job. And then they, they think they're going to have their it moment with you. And then they're going to storm off. And that is going to be stuck in your head and whatnot. This person is never going to have their moment with you. But for some of you guys, if they do, that's going to be their last moment. I'm saying some of you guys are going to straight beat this person up. And, you know, I'm like, I don't support that. I always say, you know, I do sometimes, you know. <laughs> if it's necessary, you know. But I feel like you can't help it because some people just keep picking at you and picking at you. And then it's like enough is enough because you're tired of this person disrespecting you. Um, like especially if it's family members, it might lead to an alter, uh, altercation. Yeah, okay, we got masculine energy. We got authority, discipline, father figure. Some of you guys might have uh, attract. Some of you guys have a lot of discipline and you're, you're an authority figure. People might be looking at you as that in your masculine energy. Or if you're a guy, this person can be jealous of your daddy energy. <laughs> this also being said, some of you guys might attract a lot of high end masculines. And this is another thing this person's jealous of. They could have tried to um, shame you in the past for leaving behind guys that weren't worth it and then attracting people who were really worth it. Like, you know, a lot of you guys do. I'm seeing that you attract more well off and uh, you attract better suitors than this person does. You attract more daddy energy. You attract guys who give more and do more and have more and just guys that are overall more attractive that or you are that guy. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, because some people like they got it. Like, you, you know, you guys can have wide hips. You might have a lot of estrogen. And when you got high estrogen, you could have Y hips or you could have some sort of like PMSMD or some sort of hormonal like something where you have a lot of estrogen. Some of you guys might have large chests and whatnot, but it's really also you might just be very feminine. Maybe you're coy, you're shy, you know, you don't have to necessarily have wide hips, but there's something with that estrogen in you guys that attracts people with high levels of testosterone towards you. It's like it's, mm, it's in you. People can feel it no matter what you look like. And this person might have low levels of estrogen. and that, Or if you know you're a masculine energy watching this, you might have high levels of testosterone. You might be a little panty dropper in here. <laughs> Spirit, give me more. Because that came out smooth. That was like, that was all day. Yeah, this is what I see. Burn bridges. We got burn bridges. Lack of trust. Disloyal. Turn back on. You turned your, you could have turned your back on this person. Or this person was very disloyal towards you. To the point where you had to turn your back on them. You know, because this person kept trying to 
it's like they would try to probably even try to put you down in front of others. This person, they still want to put your flame out here. And also I'm seeing with the match card here, some of you guys, maybe you don't smoke anymore. You could have smoked with this person in the past. It's like, oh, they, I would say they got mixed feelings about you. At first they had mixed feelings. I could feel them saying that it. it's like, at first I had mixed feelings. Now I just hate them. They, they, their envy of you turned to pure hate. Like they want what you have, like, you know, because they tried to fake so many different things to get it when all they have to do is be their self but they don't know who they are and they're never going to figure out who they are because they're too hyper fixated on other people and what other people might do or think, you know, yeah. this card is epiphany. It says self-reflections, answered questions, untapped talent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's another thing. An epiphany. This person has, un they could have some untapped talents. They lack the ability to self-reflect. I'm seeing you guys too. That kind of gives into the energy of where you guys didn't really, maybe you didn't expect them of having like uh, uh, envy towards you. Some of you guys could have thought it was like control issues. Some of you guys maybe thought that maybe you did do something. And you know, <laughs> when it comes down to it, answered questions, untapped talents. And that's another thing that they could, uh, that also brings that en energy too. Like, you know, the energy I just said about them coming to Epiphany of they thought they had mixed feelings towards you. They just absolutely hate you. This person could have used to talk about you with your other haters too. And they kind of enjoyed hating you in the group too. We got legal, lawyers, court paperwork yeah some of these guys might some of these people might want to pull you to court i'm saying this could be for some masculine energy you got a female that could be envious because you moved on you might have a kid with this person this kid a uh, person wants to keep you in court keep you struggling they want to make your life live in hell <laughs> you know <laughs> just because they're envious that you moved on without them you could have also gone to court with this person for fighting them. That or spiritual court might be getting called on them. This person might end up facing judgment for what they did towards you or people are already, you know, spiritual judgment too. Like this person might be trapped in not being able to move forward until they stop this hate towards you. Like until they stop becoming hyper fixated on you, they're not going to be able to succeed at anything in life. Some of these people might have already went through tower moments for screwing with you. Some of these guys, could, people could have ended up homeless. Some of these people could have lost their job, their beauty, their style. People are also judging them too because they just look more broken down than you. They put, this person looks corny. They look lame, I'm saying. You guys could have been a real big style influence on them. Like that brings me back to like the um, the own business thing. Maybe you guys do makeup really good or you do hair really good. And this person had that energy to do their hair and makeup just because you were around, but they don't have that energy when you're not around. They, they're not, you know, styling themselves the way that they should. Cool. What did you want to say? What's the vibe? See, I just said that this was feminine energy. We got masculine energy and then we got feminine energy. So yes, vice versa. You, your feminine energy attracts masculine energy. A lot of you guys are very gentleness, nurturing, mothering too, like, you know, and that also brings in with the um, the kid here and somebody having a child by someone that's definitely coming here, coming up here. Some of the, you guys, this could also be your ex, your, your lover's um, 
ex that wants to come between you guys. You guys could both have children by the same guy, but this is like extreme feminine energy. Like this, you you make guys melt. Like when they're in your presence, like a lot of you guys have that, mm, that, that, oh, like it can't even be described or spoken. Like, you know, it, it, it has to be felt type of energy when it comes down to it. I wonder if I want to clarify these with some tarot cards or if I want to use another deck. Why not? I love my classic tarot cards. I can't get bougie just because I got some new cards. <laughs> Spirit, please clarify masculine energy. Spirit, please clarify masculine energy. Spirit, please clarify masculine energy. Yeah, we got justice in reverse. This person feels like it's unfair that you get the type of att attention you get. And it, because we got unfairness, this person feels like it's unfair. This person, <laughs> that's so many, they want so bad for, for the opposite gender not to like you. But some of you guys, you just got that good, that good, I don't, I don't know if I could say coochie, but that's the energy you got. Like, you got that good, good energy. Like, you know, you got the energy of a person who got it good down there. Like, <laughs> and that attracts a lot of them. And some of you guys don't even care about it. That's another reason they feel like it's unfair. Because you might treat guys like they're flies. Like, oh, stop bothering me. Or you might feel like, oh, stop blowing up my phone, girl. Like, I told you, I don't want to be together. But, you know, girls might get obsessed with you because if you got high testosterone levels, girls are going to naturally get obsessed with you. If you got high uh, estrogen levels, guys are going to naturally get obsessed with you. And some people don't see it. They're like, oh, I don't get people who aren't as tapped in biologically. Yeah, some people who aren't as tapped in biologically, they might try to, like, I don't know. They're too much in their eyes, not as much in their spirit. And we all operate uh, heavily in different ways. Some of us are very much in our mind. Some of us are mer very much spirit and soul. And we attract, you know, we're attracted to the energy of the person. Some people are, we're more biological. Like, you know, it's like, oh, that person got something. I don't know. Like, mm, why am I attracted to this person? And be that, that that estrogen, that testosterone. <laughs> Spirit, please clarify burned bridges. Spirit, please clarify that those burned bridges. Who burned bridges with my collective? Yeah, we got untrustworthy. Ooh. Oh, it flipped over. So maybe it wants to be upright. So kindness, innovation, people feel like they burn cups with you, burn bridges with you. Sorry, it's the king of cups. Because you're kind, you're wise, and you're innovative, diplomatic, you're trustworthy and stuff. And some people didn't think that they would be able to burn a bridge towards you because some of you guys might have been real forgiving and real understanding at some point but you're not forgiving your, you know, you had to protect yourself and your mental illness. Some of you guys still forgive them, even from afar. You're like, you know, you're not bothered with them. You're feeling their energy on you. They're the ones still tripping off of you. Trust, forgiveness, nurtures creative endeavors. Yeah, like I said, I'm feeling high creative energy off this pile. Some of you guys might also, you do something creatively, if not hair, makeup, Maybe you're in the music. I know I do attract a lot of musicians. I have throughout my whole entire life. So some of you guys might in of all types. So some of you guys, they might be envious of that. Whatever creative talent you have, they don't understand it. You know, they and they can't fake it. They don't have the mana to do it. But you know, this could also be because you you use your creativity to help out them a lot. I want us to say family. So some of you guys might've helped out a family. I'm saying somebody who did like people here for a wedding or you, you, you did somebody's makeup for like prom or you, huh? 
you helped out your sisters to like braid their hair like that's for somebody specific like you know or you did some sort of labor you know for free for the people you love and you know they feel like they burn bridges because they don't have that and some of you guys like i said it was just your innovationness that kept people like expressing themselves but a lot of them wanted to be better than you than even you were like at your craft Spirit, please clarify epiphany Spirit, please clarify epiphany Spirit, please clarify epiphany. Yeah, okay. This epiphany is that this person might be having that they realize that they your goals, number one, aren't unrealistic. And that also they have an unhealthy lifestyle and their their disloyalty, rebellious, you know. <laughs> that's an epiphany and that and also this card wanted to come out i looked at that first so we got betrayal deception neglectful social life gossip scandal so three's a crowd some of you guys might have had an epiphany that these friends weren't really your friends or these sisters weren't really your sisters let's clarify legal spirit please clarify legal spirit please clarify legal Please clarify legal. I'm going to shuffle again. You know? No, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Yeah, they could be uh, lost, direction, no control, self discipline, forceful, powerless, oppositions. One of these people might actually be in jail or they might be going to jail. They might have some sort of legal issues because they lack the ability to control their temper here. Feminine energy. Spirit, please clarify feminine energy. Spirit, please clarify feminine energy. Spirit, please clarify feminine energy. Yeah, somebody thought because you had your uh, fem feminine energy, that you know you were going to be easily tricked distracted unreliable pessimistic this person felt like they were smarter than you because they could have been operating in their masculine energy and they thought oh you're all dainty and you know and you know you're dumb you'll fall over a page of wands when really they're the ones who get caught up in the page of wands at least if you're choosing a wand you end up with like a king of wands like <laughs> yeah. all right that's it i'm gonna pull some angel numbers and then i'm gonna close this reading out so i'll get back that's to my it. favorite part <laughs> Spare, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spare, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. I feel like this is one. We got eight. Oh, money. Money coming in, coming towards you. Spare, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Eight, five. Spare, give me the best angel numbers for this reading, please. Eight five nine. You guys could have been seeing these numbers a lot, both eight 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 five 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 and nine 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 over the last week. I know I've been seeing uh eight 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 and five 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 a lot. I see nine 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 maybe like once or twice. I'm thinking that's the nine of clubs. This is like I said, that's like the last battles you're willing to have with this person. Um five of uh clubs yeah this person wants to battle over your recent changes and your glow up this person might also be struggling to glow up and i'm saying 888 with spades um, money is going to be flowing towards you like it's air but let me read the spiritual interpretation for it you know so give me a okay it says angel number 859 encourages you to work diligently on your divine life purpose with passion and enthusiasm. The angels have guided you to make positive changes that will ensure that you have all that you need, all you will need in life, and that you are in the right place at the right time to serve humanity as your soul dictates. The path is clear for you to live your life 
as a positive example for others to follow. Angel number 859 may also be a strong indication that it is time to look at your career prospects. Now is the time to begin a spiritually based career, profession, and or practice or service-based project or venture if you are so prompted. Trust that this change will bring many blessings and benefits to, to yourself and others. Be aware of the opportunities appearing in your life each and every moment. Watch out for synchronicities, signs, omens, and messages as to your path. When you are in synchronicity with life and in the present moment, signs and messages appear in abundance to guide and assist you on your path. Pay attention to patterns, signs that consistently reappear. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. If you need anything else from me, it will be in a description box. If you want to book a personal reading, it's there. If you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I know I haven't really been posting on Instagram. I had to get back to my angel number readings. But that's it. Love you. See you next time.